Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are returning to Bonnie's Bakery. Bonnie's Bakery recently received a new update, guys, and this is to be the final update for the game. Now, you may remember this game, I've been covering it over the past year or so on the channel, and the previous update occurred, I believe, around April time. At that point, we did a full playthrough of the latest update, uh, which was called Fresh Ingredients, and I also made a story explained video showing you all the different endings and secrets in that game at the time. So I'll Link that video at the end of this one if you want to catch up with the story so far, but for now we're going to be diving into the latest update. This update apparently gives us a new book series to read as we venture through the sort of prep nights in hunt mode, and this gives us some more backstory to Bonnie and apparently finishes off the lore. So we're going to be playing through that today guys in this video, sit back, relax, let's dive into Bonnie's Bakery one final time, and let's see what's been added to this game. So first we need to go to the hunt mode. And we need to go, I believe, to night two. Uh, investigate the bunny, or day two, I should say. I think we need to go to the library first. So let's head over to the library, which is here. And let's enter. Okay, so there's a book on the floor. That might be the book we want. Now when I think about it, I have to return that book I borrowed eventually. Hmm. So let's click on it. Someone didn't put this book away properly. Okay. I should put it back. Um. I have no idea where to put this book. <laughs> hmm. The ethereal lady, huh? <laughs> that takes me back. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a read. All right, let's read the book. Chapter one, a peaceful town. Ooh. <laughs> Along a quiet river, past the mountains and hills, was a peaceful town guarded by the ethereal lady. Under the protection of the ethereal lady, there was never a day of strife or suffering. In this town, everyone was happy. She rose with the sun and the soft white clouds. She rested when the moon blanketed the sky with darkness and stars. The ethereal lady united her children and served as a reminder to always be kind and follow her teachings. Alright. Here she is. Oh, we get to control her in the book. Let's go and speak to this little girl, I guess. The kind child. Good morning, ethereal lady. I can help you make food for everyone. My sweetest child, you are truly kind, but remember your lessons come first. Just as it is my role to feed my children, it is your role to complete your studies. Okay, I'll study from morning to night. How studious. Go inside the house as well. All right, over to the cooking pots. Every morning, the ethereal lady prepared a hearty breakfast for all of her children. She set a large cauldron of porridge on top of a table as the children lined up one by one. Her hungry children filled their stomachs, leaving nothing behind but clean, empty bowls. Delicious, said the children. Could I have some more? Thanks for the meal. The ethereal lady smiled amongst the lively chatter. Her heart was warmed by the kindness and happiness of her children. How wonderful it was to have a never-ending life of peace and innocence. Alright, we're back outside. Let's go and speak to this child. This is a happy child. The food was so tasty. I appreciate your compliment. So, can we play yet? Soon, my child. Remember your patience. I must watch over all of my children equally. I'll be sure to come back to you later, okay? Aw, okay, I understand. All right, let's keep going. Speak to this one. This is the shy child. I see you've eaten well today. I'm very proud of you. Okay. My child, you seem quite upset. Is something wrong? <laughs> Ethereal lady, this is the worried child. I was playing with a doll, but he took it away from me. Oh no, are you hurt? I'm okay, but that was really mean. Could you tell me who did this to you? He's over at the field. He's picking fights with the kids he knows he can beat. All right, we got a bully, guys. We're gonna go and sort the bully out. Small child says, ethereal lady. Oh dear, what happened here? Where? We were playing together, but my friend was hurt. That mean he punched me. Now, now, calm down, my children. I'll go and talk to him. Can you tell me where he went? 
He went further down the field. That way. I heard crying. Did something happen? Don't worry, dear. I'll handle the situation. Alright, we're going to go and sort the bully out. So we've got to go over to the field next. Don't know how this ties into Bonnie. I don't think she's meant to be the ethereal lady, though. Alright, here's a bully by the look of it. The ethereal lady with grace and humility walked further down the field. It did not take long for her to see a child tinkering with a broken doll. When the devious child noticed the ethereal lady, he averted his eyes guiltily. This was not the first time he has caused a commotion. No matter how gently the ethereal lady tries to reason with him, he always went back to his mischievous ways. I heard about what happened, said the ethereal lady. What did you hear, says the devious child. But you were causing trouble again. Huh, whatever, I'm leaving. Hey, the ethereal lady wants to talk to you. It's rude to leave mid-conversation. Ugh. He's the one who punched me. Oh, is he causing trouble again? Give me my doll. It's not yours, it's mine. Now, now, let's calm down, children. Why did you steal her doll? It wasn't hers, it's always been mine. If that was the case, you could have shared the doll with her for a bit. But it was mine. That means I can do whatever I want. Just let her play with the doll for a little bit. It's not a big deal. All of this was just over some toy? It wasn't just that. He hurt me too. Ah yes, not sharing is one thing, but hurting someone is going too far. They wouldn't let me play with them, they had it coming. That's because you're a troublemaker, says the weak child. Yeah, we don't want to play with someone that's mean. See? Hmm, while it is unfair that they didn't let you play with them, they clearly have their reasons. Everyone knows how difficult you can be. You clearly have an infamous reputation. If you want others to play with you, look inwards before pointing fingers. The ethereal lady is right. No one wants to play with a meanie. Apologize. If you say sorry to everyone and act kindly from now on, things will turn out better for you. Sorry. So he apologized. The child apologized and reluctantly shared his doll with the others. He doesn't look happy about it though. His cooperation was merely a front, however, as his heart remained blackened and cruel. The ethereal lady looked on in disappointment as the child continued to glare at the others. Her sadness was interrupted by a hug. Ooh, kind child. I wonder if this is meant to be Bonnie. Thank you for fixing the problem, ethereal lady. You always do so much to help us. I wish I could do more for you. The ethereal lady smiled. Oh, my kind child, you've done more than enough today. You always study hard, care for others, and just now you helped resolve this conflict. If everyone were like you, there would never be any suffering in our world. These kind, benevolent children were the greatest source of joy to the ethereal lady. She decided to cast the troublemaker from her mind and end the day tending to the rest of her children. Alright. That's the first chapter. Bonnie says, wow, what an interesting book. I guess I got sidetracked. Okay. I have to read more some other time. For now, I need to get back to business. Alright, so that's the first book, guys. Now, I don't know what we do. I think maybe we have to, like, finish up the day. And then we come back, like, during the next target to read part two of the book, I imagine. So I'm going to go and finish this off, guys, this task. And then once I've done that, I'll cut to when I've uh, got back to the library and we'll read the next part of the book. Alright, so we go to the next night now, investigate the dog, and we should be able to read some more of a book. So, where's the library? I think it's over here. Here it is, public library. Let's enter once again. And let's see if we can read some more of his book. Should I read this right now? Yes. Alright, let's see what happens next. Chapter 2, The Seeds of Doubt. Okay, the next day the ethereal lady awoke to a peculiar sound. Silence. Hmm. Kind child says, ethereal lady, there's big trouble today. Big trouble? Everyone is fighting and some of the kids are starting to look scary. I see. Don't worry, my child. I'll handle this. You have nothing to fear. 
thank you, my lady. Okay, so she's gone. We have to go outside and see what's up. The ethereal lady rushed outside only to find absolute chaos. Children who once listened to her every word shut their ears. The children who once followed her every step shut their eyes. The children who once showered her with the loveliest phrases shut their mouths. They lost interest in wisdom, falling back into their primal instincts. The ethereal lady shed tears, for though these children had devolved into unrecognisable beasts, she still felt care for them in her heart. So they're kind of turning into animals, which is interesting, guys. It's kind of like, you know, the whole town is made up from animals, and we see these children are turning into animals in the story, but we know that the animals in the town are meant to be people, because of course the unlocks that you get from completing different parts of the game show that these um, animals were once human. So, yeah, this story seems to be like the origin of the town, maybe, and the townspeople. Anyway, let's continue it. Kind Child says, leave me alone, I've already called the ethereal lady. The beast says, "Raw, Leave that child alone at once. What are we going to have to do, fight it? Are you one of my children? Rawr. What happened to you? Grr. I need to help this child come back to its senses. Don't worry, my child. I forgive you. Rawr. Oh my god, we've got to attack. The corrupt child is trying to attack. Defend the ethereal lady. Okay. Hit defend. Press E to instantly... I couldn't read that in time. Oh no, the beast is falling further into corruption. Use the ethereal lady's forgiveness to stop it. All right, there we go. So we have to counter its attacks. The corrupted child's... Oh, I couldn't even read that. The corrupted child is resisting forgiveness. Break through the resistance with the power of healing. Okay, let's heal it. There we go. So she doesn't attack. She just kind of like counters with... Uh, and again, I couldn't read that. She counters with like these kind of like passive abilities. We finish with forgive and that like turns them back I guess. The corrupted child was brought back to its senses. So we've transformed them back from beast to a uh, human. Thank you for saving me. Of course, don't worry my child. I'll take care of this. Stay safe, ethereal lady. I will. Now go back inside where it's safe. Huh? What happened? I'll tell you inside, quick. We need to get to safety. I need to find the other children. Alright, there's one over here, I think. Beast 2 says, Heh heh, caught you. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to play this game. Quit being such a baby. It's just a game of tag. I'll play the hunter again. Now get running. Stop it. Huh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You shouldn't be hunting down your fellow friends for sport. Grr. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to have to fight off this one as well. So resist. We need to defend, I guess. Okay. Defend again. Um, heal. There we go. That's uh, giving us some health. Oh, defend. We just match the icons up. Can we not forgive? Oh yeah, that's actually hurting him. Okay, let's try forgiving again. There we go. Yeah, it's knocking the energy bug down as you can see, guys. So we'll just keep doing this. As long as I can forgive over and over, we'll just keep doing that. Here we go. Nice. We've done it. The corrupted child came back to its senses. Excellent. Have you learned your lesson? Are you okay? Uh, do you see now? She still worries for you even though you are trying to hurt her. I... I'm sorry. They've turned back. It's okay. I'm just glad you're back to normal. I'm really sorry. It's okay, my child. For returning to us, I forgive you. Alright, nice. Anyone else that way? No? We have to go this way then. 
She just slowly walks. Oh, there's another one here. Come on, say something. That's enough. Stay out of this. All right, we've got to take care of this one now. Corrupt. Forgive. So you want to defend here against this attack. There we go. And then you forgive when they send out corrupt. We're going to turn them back into a child now. Done. Though you may have lost your way, I forgive you. Come back to your senses. There we go. Just a harmless child again. Huh? What happened? Somehow, I feel like I've done something wrong. Don't worry, my child. All that matters is that you're here with us again. Sweet. Okay, we've done it. There's another one. Well, there's two here. Ah! <laughs> Ack, my ears. We've got the toys, so let's get out of here. What's happening here? I was letting them borrow my toys for a bit, but then they said they wanted to keep it. I see. I'll find them. Right, we've got two to, to face off against now. It's like a boss fight. So we've got to find the two that have run off. Here they are. Hey, you broke it. It's fine. We can take someone else's. Found you. Arr. Get her. All right, let's do this. Let's throw down. Oh, forgive. This is trickier because we've got a... You know, there's like a barrage of attacks we've got to defend against at once. So you've got to be mindful. We can do a double forgive here, though. There we go. I'm glad they share a health bar. Defend. Oh, forgive. Nice. Defend. Oh my god, that was close. Forgive. Yeah, these attacks are much faster. We need to defend against this one. And again. And again. And now forgive. One more forgive should do it. Got to keep defending though. Here we go. This should be it, guys. Yes. Done. Return to me, my children. I feel like I've been sleeping. Oh no, I, I broke someone's toy. I'm glad you two are alright. I finally caught up. What happened? Hey, what did you do to my toy? I'm sorry. I was the one who... You're sorry? You're not sorry. Not yet, anyway. How could you? You must be patient. Shut up. <laughs> Damn. Maybe this is Bonnie. Rah. <laughs> oh, she turned into a beast herself. So it's like when their emotions overtake them, they turn into the... Um, oh, God. I think I took some damage. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm taking damage here. What the heck? I'm going to heal. There we go. But yeah, it seems like when their emotions overtake them, the children turn into these beasts. Like when their negative emotions overtake them. So maybe that's what the town's meant to be made up from, is like people who have been overtaken by negative emotions. And they're represented as animals because of that. Come on, let me forgive. Here we go. The power of healing. The power of forgiveness. That's done it. Have you calmed down? Yeah. I'm really sorry for breaking your toy. And I'm sorry I helped him take it. Perhaps this could have all been avoided if I were a better teacher. No, it wasn't your fault, Ethereal Lady. Yeah, I got too angry. I took something that didn't belong to me. We're really grateful for your help. I'm glad you kind children weren't completely tainted by my mistakes. But sadly, you are not the only ones who have lost their way. I have no choice. I must take serious action. What's she gonna do? Although the Ethereal Lady was able to save some of her children, 
others were unreachable. They distorted more and more, rejecting her teachings and growing more depraved and beast-like. They stalked the innocent children, taking from them, hurting them and leading them astray. As much as it hurt the ethereal lady, she knew that she had to separate the beasts from the others. So she banished them. It's kind of like the story of like the Garden of Eden a little bit. Her love for them would never fade, but they were simply too dangerous now. The ethereal lady's love was boundless, of course, but she had her limits. There we go. Wow, that was a lot. What an interesting story. I'll need to finish it another time. Okay, so the next time we come back, we'll get to finish it by the look of it, guys. So yeah, it seems like the ethereal lady looked after all of these different children, and then some of them kind of turned bad and became these animals. And we see animals all about the town, so I'm wondering if this town and all these animals originated from the people that left the ethereal lady's care because we do know they're meant to be originally humans, which is interesting. So I'm going to come back um, the next day, guys, and we'll see if we can basically unlock the rest of the book, see how it ends. Okay, so we're on to the next day. The panda's gone in the library. This is actually where we need to go, so we might have to watch the cutscene first. Maybe we can just read the book straight up. Okay. This is the last chapter. Should I see how the story ends? Yes. Chapter 3, Unforgiven. Alright, let's go. After the barrier was established, the ethereal lady ran the beasts out of her town and shut the gates tightly. For many nights, the beasts clawed and sneered. They missed the comfort of the town, but they were not willing to earn back the trust they had broken. Eventually, the beasts grew hungry. After rejecting their humanity, they no longer had the knowledge to make their own food. Some tore ravenously into the grass to scavenge for food, ripping the roots from the ground. Others grew violent and tore into each other. They lacked the wisdom to build a good society, so they constructed one based entirely on their own desires. As time went on, they forgot about the comfort of the ethereal lady and deluded themselves into believing they were happy. Hmm. So we're back in the ethereal lady's town. Hello, ethereal lady. You look down today. Is everything okay? You don't have to be worried, my child. But you always help us whenever we have any trouble. I'd like to be here to listen to yours. I truly have raised you well, haven't I? I worry for the vulnerable children of this town and the ones that have lost their way. I grow weary thinking of my dear sweet children who have become such unrecognizable monsters. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I'll always remember everything you've taught us. Thank you, my child. I pray that the others look to you for guidance. This one does kind of look like Bonnie to me, which is weird. Was this how it looked? No, no, I think it was at more of an angle. Yeah, and it was more like, whoo, at this part. Ah, right. You can't forget the whoo. <laughs> okay, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to keep going. 100%. Hmm. Aw, oh, I guess you win this round. Huh? <laughs> I guess it's your turn to hide now. I'll count to 100. 100? No need. Just count to 50 and I'll be gone. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so they're playing hide and seek. Everything seems good in the town so far. Oh, what do you think about this flower? Isn't it pretty? Do you like it? I do. Haha, <laughs> I'll give it to you then. Alright, everyone's just playing, it seems nice. Oh, the end of the town. So this is where all the beasts were locked out. Uh, where's my last child gone? She couldn't be beyond the walls, could she? Maybe she's talking about Bonnie now. No, I have to make sure she isn't out there. Oh no, she's going outside. I need to know where this story ends, guys. I'm invested now. Where are the connections? Oh my gosh. The worried child, there's like a beast over her. I don't think I quite understand what you're saying. You're being tricked. Your precious ethereal lady is a liar and a fraud. The ethereal lady approached the snarling beast, 
who glared at her with feral eyes. I do not want to hurt you, my once sweet child. I see the pain in your eyes as you attempt to reconstruct what I've built without me. Your newfound hardships in life are due to my absence. My love for you has never waned. Return to me and live in peace. The older beast turned its back, retreating further into the dark woods. However, after the old beast retreated, a young beast appeared from the shadows and stood before her. The ethereal lady gave him a gentle smile and carried him to the town in her arms. With each step they took, the beast regained its humanity. He held onto her gently and before he knew it, he had forgotten about his tainted family beyond the walls. So she turned him back. Unfortunately, the ethereal lady's troubles would only continue to grow. The most devious beast grew more clever. It climbed over the walls and searched for its victims. The children ran and hid in fear as it prowled through the town drooling at the sight of their untainted society. The beast spoke to the children in an unrestrained snarl. You think you're being protected, but you're just prisoners in this tiny town. Don't you want to think for yourselves? You look at us like we're beneath you, as if our ideas are inherently inferior. But what will you do when the ethereal lady turns her back on the rest of you as well? The children pleaded for help, and their call was answered as the ethereal lady approached the beast her kind love grew cold as she saw just how inhumane the beast had become. We're gonna have to fight the beasts. Oh man. We're we gonna just attack him straight up now. Oh gosh. Okay, forgive. This should be the one. This should get him. There we go. This beast. There is no humanity left in it. Rather than use my forgiveness, I need to purify this monster once and for all. Yeah, let's kick its ass. Purify. Wow. That straight up attacks it. Oh no, now we gotta do two. Okay, forgive. And then defend. No! <laughs> Alright, he's down. Right, so we've, we've helped them, now we can purify this one again. Halfway down. We've, we, we help the kids, then we purify this one. I don't know if I'll show you, like, all of this, guys. Although this is becoming harder, because it's actually starting off black. We can't see what the attack is until the last minute. So I'm going to keep my hand over defend. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm healing, I'm not forgiving. What the heck? Yeah, I'm going to keep my hand over defend, because that's the more likely one that I need to uh, protect from. Forgive? Almost got him now, guys. I've probably cut a lot of this battle out, because it is very repetitive. Let's forgive him. There we go. Now we should be able to attack this guy again. Purify. One more hit should do it. We're gonna have to battle like some more minions though. There's three of them now, are you kidding me? Defend, forgive, uh, forgive. There we go, a little double forgive there. It's all about forgiveness. Forgive, there we go. All right, we've beaten them, all three of them. That took ages. Can we end this now? Purify him? That seems to have done it. She took matters into her own hands and took down the beast. Nice. He fell all the way down the hill. <laughs> How far you've fallen, foolish beast. If you had just returned for forgiveness, I would have opened my arms to you. Wow, his head's come off. That's a bit savage. The children cheered at the victory, glad to see the hideous beast taken down for good. Let this be a lesson, my children. Cast aside the beasts who rejected my forgiveness, for they are no longer human. However, if you find that a child has lost their way, return them to me so they don't lose their humanity. The children heeded the ethereal lady's words and gradually peace returned to the town. The horrible old beast was slain without hesitation. Wow, it's like just killing them. The younger troubled beasts were treated with love and care and eventually regained their humanity. 
With the health of everyone in town and of course the power of the ethereal lady, everybody lives together in harmony happily ever after. Hmm. <laughs> Yay, a happy ending. Oh. All right, I need to put this back where it belongs. Do you know where this book goes by any chance? I'm not sure where that book came from, but it's definitely not one of our books. Huh? Hey, why not take it with you? I noticed you were really invested in it. Watching you read it made me want to give it a go. Huh? <laughs> well, if you insist, I'll make sure to take good care of it. Hey, there we go, we got a new book. Okay guys, well that's the book read. It seems like that's basically how the town that the game takes place in started. With us this ethereal lady and it may have even been a representation of the ethereal lady of Bonnie or like Bonnie's mother and how she was raised to sort of feel like if anybody misbehaved they were like represented as these animals and cast away. And Bonnie may feel like she's doing the right thing like murdering all these people because she's like taking care of the beasts so to speak, the ones that are not pure and innocent. But that's just her like warped interpretation of the world. Because we do know that these animals, of course, were once human, as we saw from the previous unlocks in our previous video. Once again, guys, I will link that video if you want to go and check it out at the end of this one, the story explained so far. Now, I may take into account what this book offers and do another story explained video, but I'm not sure because I've got a lot coming up in December on the channel. Either way, you can make your own thoughts and theories based on what you've seen in this video today. Now there is apparently one more thing in this update guys to unlock which is a new Bingus ending if you remember Bingus is like Bonnie's kind of weird meme alter ego and um, apparently if we enter the code found on all the different Bingus endings at the bottom left corner into the dungeon in the first night we can actually get a new ending for Bingus so let's click Bonnie's ear 20 times and this will give us Bingus as an unlock. There we go, there's Bingus. So this is her weird alter ego. Maybe the person that is like, or the, the part of her mind that is causing her to commit all these weird like crimes and murders and stuff. So what we need to do now guys, is we need to go to start and we need to go to nighttime. And then during nighttime, we'll have Bingus free roaming. We should be able to get a new ending by entering the code 62123. So where is Bingus at the moment? Oh my god, she's there. She's there, she's there, she's there. She's on patrol. Look at her go. Actually pretty creepy. Alright, off she goes. That's right, Bingus. You just keep exploring now. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We're just gonna explore, put this code in. So, six, two, one, two, three. Enter. Hey, we got it. So this is a new ending, guys. She wakes her up. She comes through in the night like a poltergeist. She's leading her over to the table. She's like, come here. Get out of my dreams. Ooh, a picture. The heck? Oh, she glitched away. Huh, and then all these people in the picture with these weird, like, crests on their necks. So was that to do with the story as well? Were they meant to be the children who grew up in the town with the ethereal lady? And there we go, guys. Well, that's the final ending. So, yeah, I think that's everything for this update. I think there's like a mode maybe where you can do like an endless mode with the mallet and um, just go around and get high scores and stuff. But I don't really think I need to explore that in this video. I just wanted to bring you the new lore from it, which is that book, of course, and that new Bingus ending. So you've seen all the new stuff now, guys. Let me know what you think it all means in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed this update. So, uh, yeah, for now, guys, that is my Bonnie's Bakery update playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And of course, I will leave you links to all my previous Bonnie stuff at the end of this video if you want to check that out as well. With that said, if you have enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.